Hi, I'm Joe, and in this video we're going to learn a little bit about the Calibri system. The Calibri system is a book covering tool that's designed to help you save time, protect your books, and help out the planet along the way. The Calibri system is not just another book covering tool. Those plastic covers typically take about five minutes per book to cover them. Whereas the Calibri system is designed to work in just 30 seconds. Whether you're dealing with paperbacks or hardcovers, big or small, it's designed to give each book a nice custom and durable fit. I want to tell you a little bit about our company. That way you know where our machines and our covers come from. Calibri Systems was founded in Italy 20 years ago and they've been in the United States since 2005. Today we work with over 2,000 customers across the United States and we work with all kinds of institutions, whether it be public libraries, public schools, universities, and museums. Pretty much anybody who has books they need to cover and protect, Calibri is there to help. Alright, let's get to the fun bit. I'm going to show you how to cover a paperback book with the Calibri system. So first, you're going to want to grab one of your covers and set it on the work surface, which is the gray part of the machine, with the Colibri logo on the left and the barcode on the right. Uh, the reason you want to, uh, and on the side facing towards you. The reason you're going to want to do that is then the pockets open up and let you cover the book. If you do it the other way, it'll be upside down. Now from here, grab the book you want to work with, open it up, and just grab the back cover of the book. This cover you're going to want to insert into the right side pocket. From here you can set it down and then line it up quickly. You're going to want to align the spine about with the middle of the cover you're working with. From here, go ahead and push it up to the welding bar and then make a couple final adjustments. What you're going to want to check is that you have a straight line here at the bottom uh, and, and uh, you can use the grid system to help you out there. And then make sure your top is in good contact with the welding bar so you don't get extra space. And from here, go ahead and perform a cut. Perfect. After a couple seconds, your cut will be done. And then instead of pulling straight back, which you'll be tempted to do, grab it by the sides and just pick it straight up. That makes sure that the top weld stays nice and neat. From here, you can push your book all the way to one side. And then grab the front cover. And I always hold it by my, by my two uh, fingers right here and my thumb. And pick up the back cover of the, the plastic cover. And then you're going to want to begin to insert one corner at a time. So I get this side and then that side. And from here, you can push the whole thing in, close the book, and you've got a neat first cut. Now from here, what you're going to want to do is make sure you don't have any air bubbles in here. Make sure it's nice and tight, nice and neat, well fitted, and then slide it all the way in. Again, check that it's nice and well aligned. You want to have things in good order. And once you're comfortable with the, there's no air bubbles, it's all well fitted, you go ahead and turn your book, press it again into the welding bar, make sure you've got no space, you want it to be touching with a paper cover book, and then perform your second cut. Now once again, don't forget, pick it up, don't pull back, and now you've got a custom fit cover on your book. There's a lot of advantages to the Calibri covers. One of the coolest is that they're non-adhesive, which means they're easy to remove. So, for example, with this one, just grabbing both covers and putting your index finger on the spine to make sure you don't strain the book, you can pretty easily work the covers right off. And then this cover, in this case it's a pretty small book, but this cover could in theory be used to cover a smaller book or to cover a book of the same size, it's reusable, or you can recycle it. By comparison, a different cover that is also a plastic cover has a lot of flaws. First of all, the material is terrible. It makes lots of noise. And second, it's adhesive, which means, as you can see, it damages the cover of the book. It gets all kinds of glue and paper residue on it, which means that not only have you damaged your book and it makes a lot of noise, which is inconvenient, if you were to work this cover off, you probably couldn't recycle it because 
once it gets uh, paper residue and glue on it, recycling plants won't accept it. So you might wonder why we call Colibri covers eco covers and why they have a little I'm green logo on them. That's because we make them with green polyethylene, which is made from sugarcane, as opposed to the fossil fuel based uh, polyethylenes that a lot of other polyethylene products are made from. The green element of green polyethylene is that unlike normal polyethylene, which manufactures and, and releases CO2 as it's, as it's produced, green polyethylene in fact absorbs CO2 in the production process, so it reduces the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere. Colibri covers come in three sizes. You can see them over here. We have mini, standard, and big. The big are in fact so big that we fold them in half, which is why they're in a smaller box. So, a mini cover, right here, is good for covering small to pretty normal sized books. You can see here are a couple examples of books that would be perfect to cover with mini covers. If you have books that are a little bit on the larger side from there, you can move to a standard cover, which obviously could also cover mini sized books, but this standard cover can work just as well for books on the larger side, like this one. Uh, hardcover books tend to be a bit more dense, and also book thickness as well. Now, if you have larger books, such as this one right here, and frankly, this is on the small side of larger books, you can use one of the Colibri big covers. As you can see, these covers are actually as long as the machine I have in front of me, and they will cover probably most any book you can encounter in the world. Let me show you how you can go about picking the right size cover for your book. So say we'll work with this book right here. Obviously, a big cover would be able to cover almost any book, so I'll put that aside for now. But if we were to start with, say, the mini cover, what you would do is place your book into the mini cover, fold the cover around it, and see whether you have an inch of space on the top and three quarters of an inch space on the side. As you can see with this book right here, we don't have an inch on top and the cover doesn't even reach the side of the book, so it's too small. You can't do it. Going up a size to the standards, oh, excuse me, let me put the standards on in the right direction. Remember, logo on the left. Uh, if you fold the standard cover around the book, you see that we have plenty of room on the sides and plenty of room on top. So this cover would be good to cover this book. Colibri machines are built to cover lots of books very efficiently. With the press of a button, they're able to seal the plastic, cut off the excess, and give you a nice, well-covered Colibri book quickly. I should mention right now, they also only work with Colibri materials. The LCD display that you see here also allows you the opportunity to adjust the temperature settings and make sure that your machine is working best for you. In addition to just being good at covering your books, once you've unplugged and turned off your Colibri machine, it can also fold very easily for storage. So as you see, it goes off. You can just pick it up by the front table and use the rounded back to roll it up and back down, and now it's ready to store wherever you need it. Colibri has two different sized machines. We have the Ida Vinci, which is bigger, and then we have its younger brother, actually older, but smaller brother, the uh, Leonardo, which, as you can see, is a, is a good bit smaller. The Elio can cover mini and standard sized books just as well as the Ida Vinci. They both work the same way. What the Ida Vinci lets you do is cover big books without using a separate process. You can still cover uh, big books on uh, the big size cover books on eLeonardo's, but you need to use a special process that we have a tutorial for on the website. Just to give you a sense, of the size of these. This is a big cover. As you can see, it takes up the whole length of the Da Vinci, and it's too big for the e Leonardo. So, if you have lots of mini and standard books to cover, go ahead and go with a Leonardo. But if you've got lots of oversized books you've got to handle, the Da Vinci might be better for you. One very important thing to mention is just how safe the Calibra machines are. The welding slit is too thin for you to get your fingers stuck in there, as you can see, so you're not at risk of injuring yourself while you use the machine. 
And on top of that, it has a sensor that stops it from welding anything that isn't Calibra material, so you're not at risk of accidentally damaging books or things like that. The system is in fact so safe that most of our customers also train volunteers or students to help with the machines without any risk. As soon as you receive your new Colibri machine, you'll have an onboarding call with our customer service team. They'll help answer any questions you might have and show you how to use the machines properly. We also have a Colibri USA YouTube channel that has lots of tutorials and tips on how to maintain your machines and how to use them. On top of all this, our in-house repair center is there to fix any issues you might encounter with your machine free of charge under the two-year warranty from the purchase date. Now you know all about the Colibri system. Be sure to follow us on social media. And if you're new, check out our website for a 20% discount on a machine and two boxes of covers.